Because this is center, and this is where we should be. Hey there, hi there, ho there. I'm as happy as can be. I'm at CK1. Welcome everybody to the Amazing Grace Sports Network's kickoff of the 2022 NFL season. We, of course, are going to discuss the whole of the NFL. But first, we are going to focus on a particularly glaring situation. Why? Because we can. The New England area kicked off a new NFL season with a staple of what's been occurring over the last three years. Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers shined in a win, and Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots sucked in a loss. It has been three years and $300 million spent in free agency for Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots, and they still look lost. Actually, to be truthful, the Patriots won their home opener three years ago with the guy that Belichick pushed Brady out the door for, one Cam Newton. They beat the Dolphins 21-11, to but they looked like crap doing it because Miami created a bunch of turnovers. Cam Newton only threw for 140 yards, going 15 for 19, with the longest completion being 12 yards. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, 12 yards. The Patriot pundits hollered and screamed that this was the beginning of a new era. Bill Belichick, the genius, was going to bring back the running game to the NFL. He was going to use it to run roughshod over the league. He was going to show everyone why the Patriots won for over two decades because he, Bill Belichick, was at the helm. It didn't help that three seasons ago, Tampa Bay and Brady lost their home opener to their perennial nemesis, the Saints. Though Brady went 23 for 36 with 239 yards and two touchdowns, he threw for two interceptions and was sacked three times. Of course, the Belichick bubbles slapped each other's rumps and beat their chests, and some of them even claimed that by the end of the season, Bill Belichick would have Cam Newton throwing precision passes like Tom Brady did. After all, it was Belichick who made Brady, and if he did that, he could do the same with Cam Newton. They predicted that with Belichick and Newton, the Patriots would not only be in the playoffs once again, they would probably win the Super Bowl. Well, that year, the Patriots went 7-9, and nine, and they were lucky to win that many. The league adjusted to Bill Belichick's supposedly newfangled running game, and Cam Newton still couldn't hit a receiver in motion by the end of the season. The team crashed and burned, and of course, they didn't make the playoffs or anything close to it. Tom Brady with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, on the other hand, not only made the playoffs, but won the Super Bowl once again. The Brady fiasco still dramatically affects the New England region. Not only did it happen, but how it happened, with the Patriots never offering Brady a contract. Three years ago, Tom the Goat Brady just wanted a bottom of the basement $25 million compared to Aaron Rodgers $33 million and Russell Wilson $35 million, both of whom had just only won one Super Bowl each. The year before, in 2018, Brady was the 18th highest paid player in the NFL behind such notables as Derek Carr, Joe Flacco, Jimmy Garoppolo, Eli Manning, Cam Newton, and Phillip Rivers. Though Brady had won the Super Bowl the year before against Atlanta, despite the fact that he would be in the Super Bowl again that year versus Philadelphia, again he might have won if Belichick inexplicably doesn't sit out his starting cornerback, Malcolm Butler, and Brady would win the Super Bowl again that year against the Los Angeles Rams. Tom Brady had taken a discount for the team his whole career and was still willing to do so. But Bill Belichick was having none of that. He wanted him gone. No bottom basement 
No clearance. Not even that buy one, get one free Tom Brady. With no contract, Tom had no choice but to leave if he wanted to keep playing. And therefore, he ended up in Tampa Bay. Now, before yesterday's thrashing by Miami, there were two vocal contingents on the radio waves in New England. Those who believed the Patriots with Bill Belichick were still magical and were going places. And those who were still sour over the Brady fiasco, hoping the Patriots would go, well, oh, in 17. Well, the Patriots may not go 0 and 17, but they won't be far behind. But the contingent that would be that would be making the most noise in New England will go to the ones who thought there was still magic in Bill Belichick. They are finally realizing that it wasn't Bill Belichick that made Tom Brady. It was Tom Brady that made Bill Belichick. And the beat goes on, everybody. Yes, the beat.